hey welcome back to the channel um, uh, this is uh, what I wanted to show you is a uh, clean table and it is uh, it is all ready to lay out the fuselage so what I, I got uh, the aileron um, the fits good now everything is good with the wing uh, and uh, the both wings are at the same place which is really just some uh, some finished sanding before um, before uh, putting the varathane um, on the whole thing so I'm gonna do that pretty soon just waiting for a nice warm day and uh, when I've got a Saturday or Sunday and I can put them outside on sawhorses and and uh, just work on them get that done so that's kind of my next phase maybe talk my wife into coming and helping me when I have to do that and get those all sealed up that'll be like really sweet but pretty excited to have a clean table because I'm about to get this laid out which is uh, just uh, super so I'm gonna look at the plan for just a minute and uh, then we'll start talking about this all right all right, so I'm gonna sh just show you real quickly what the, uh... first I'll just show you a drawing here real quick of the, uh, of this portion of the plan. So you get a, a reference point of uh, where I'm going here. Um, everything starts from a, from a zero line. And, uh, and so I'm gonna actually treat the front edge of my table as a zero line as long as as long as it still remains square and it does so it's nice so this is going to be my zero and then the uh, first upright Is to the front edge of it. I probably should be over here, but I'm going to make the mark first. The, uh, actually, I can do it for myself. All right. So the first station, station number one, is at uh, 16 and three quarter inches to the front edge. So, so screwed over some here. So what we're going to do is we're going to work, first we're going to work out the original plan from station one this way. And then we're going to come back and make the modification for the half EW um, from here going this way. So, so the first one is 16 and 3 quarters, and that's to the front edge. The uh, top and bottom longerons are... Um, are RS8 and so are the verticals. There was a note here. So every, everything's in the three three quarter direction, three quarter by five eighths. And uh, uh, station one is RS8. The initial depth at station zero is 18 inches. The, the plan actually shows a, a basic layout line first and then it and then you go in and put in the uh, verticals and everything so I'm gonna actually start with that so my first measurement is at 18 inches and then at uh, Three and a quarter, three and a quarter, eighteen inches. Uh, 
order. So from that point, go to here. As soon as I get this, uh, this basic section in here, we'll be able to keep moving. So that's the old front of the fuselage. Now we go 36 and a quarter, 6 and a quarter, Alright, so for the long line, I'm just going to use this chalk line. All right, so I got the uh, got the seat area all in here. You can see that's that's where the seat belt hole goes, and um, this is the RS10 piece here. Uh, this one is RS4. This one's RS10. This one back here is RS10. This one's RS10. This one's RS4. And uh, uh, no reason to really draw the the bottom one um, because we're just going to be laying it against this line uh, anyway it's also an RS10 that runs across here and scarfs into the forward and back and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to uh, uh, oh I was just going to mention real quick that these measurements here um, are actually off of the they're not off of the board here they're off of a three-quarter section so I actually just took a piece of three-quarter material and laid it up there um, when I took these measurements so and that one right there it's 12 and a half inches so that worked out good now all the laundrons and everything are three th three-quarter by uh, by five eighths, so that's uh, uh, except for when we get forward of here, it's going to change for this uh, half VW. So, all right, so I'm going to grab the pencil here, grab the drawing, 
and work on the changes up front here. All right. Hey, so there was just one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, I found this uh, uh, found this really cool company who um, specializes in laser cutting, and uh, it was actually really really cool. They're uh, they're called um, uh, Send Cut Send. And it was really kind of sweet because I just drew up the uh, I just drew up the parts for the for the rudder and for the ailerons and the uh, the um, kind of the control yoke uh, as part of the <clears throat> part of the stick assembly set up of course for the AD with the double double screw bracket the AD that's out on that super cool um, company this was um, pretty inexpensive I think this cost me about 25 bucks uh, to have them cut that um, if you buy a piece of aluminum from aircraft spruce you'll spend more than that because they only sell it in uh, like a 2 by 2 size for eighth inch um, so uh, yeah really anxious to see uh, kind of how tight these dimensions are once I get it out of the package they just kind of send it it's all it's all uh, uh, well, it's like sort of shrunk wrap, so yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you um, as well. I just got those um, a little while ago, and I just forgot to uh, pull those out and show them to you, so um, there are a lot of ways to make this easier, and uh, it just costs a little bit more money, though, so all right, and actually, uh, I looked at my looked at my clock, and I promised uh, my wife that I would cook the steaks tonight, so um, my couple of hours vanished like that and um, but that's all I had I'm gonna get the wing and the aileron kind of put away where I have the other ones stored and then um, I need to cut I need to cut a little bit of uh, uh, mahogany here to size because my buddy Bob Holman is going to uh, laser cut my instrument panel and the back side of my instrument panel and some pieces that I designed to go on the inside so you'll see all that uh, later. So I just have to get those pieces cut real quick for uh, for him so I can um, send those out to him. He lives out in San Bernardino, but um, it's quite a hike if you drive from Long Beach. So uh, it's just as easy to kick those in the mail. He'll laser cut those and send them back to me. And you've already seen how I planned out my panel. So um, I use the drawings from the instruments and stuff to get all the correct sizes and locations. and um, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'll get the wing put away. And then next time I will work on, I will work on this area um, where things change a bit. Uh, the Rotax had a much higher mount. The uh, half VW mounts a little lower and it's got some other changes to the front end. Like um, it goes this way. Um, and then curves curves under here, which is different than um, the way you see this design. You kind of lose this front corner here. This whole piece right here actually kind of goes away. And then the uh, half VW sits right here. And yeah. So, um, yeah, so uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me, checking out the video. Um, it's kind of a short one, but uh, no sweat and um, they can't all be 30 minutes long, and I know that's probably too long for one of these videos, but hey, you, you seem to in, uh, enjoy it anyway when I look at the stats, so I will, uh, I'll catch you guys later.